Hey guys! Okay, so this video is actually a really good story time. Not clickbait at all. <laughs> but, okay, so you guys asked me, not everyone, but I have gotten this question a lot. Amberlynn, have you ever been on a plane? Amberlynn, do you even fit on a plane? And, okay, by the way, this is another comment I get a lot. People say that I say my name a lot. It's because I am, like, quoting what other people say. I don't know. Anyways, okay, so this is actually, this really happened. Um, I'm not making this up for a story time. Promise. I know a lot of people speculate our story time's real. I'm not very good with story times because I feel like I go off in, like, tangents and I start talking about something else. Like, my friend brought that up to me, like, the other night, and I was like, I know, I know, I'm so annoying. Like, I'm not going to deny that I sit there and, like, talk about one thing and then move on to another. I'm going to try my hardest not to do that. Um, but, yeah, story times were requested. The question of, do I fit in planes? Is that a thing? I figured this all goes into one. Um, and it's perfect. So, yes, I have been on planes before. I have been on a plane um eight times I want to say about eight times um I've been to four different places like it's been four different times round trip on a plane uh Disneyland and Oklahoma have been the two places that I have gone on planes so actually maybe like six times I've been on a plane yeah I think it's been six times around there um I am afraid of heights deathly afraid of heights I will say that um planes are really scary <laughs> It's like, how does that big object stay floating in the air? Do you guys ever think about that? Like, what? Like, okay, that's a whole other, whole other subject. But, um, yeah, one of the last few times I went on a plane, which was years ago, I was going with my brother. We were going to Oklahoma to visit family that I only knew when I was so young, like a baby. I couldn't even talk. So, years ago, years ago, years go by. I am 18 and I am going to Oklahoma to meet these people because I've never really met them before. And I was super excited, super anxious. Um, planes were not my jam. I was scared. Um, I will say when I go to an airport, I like to get there way early just in case there are complications. But this one time, it didn't happen, which is ironic. Um, so me and my brother go through everything we're supposed to, security, this and that, give them luggage, weigh it out, do that, do this, um, have our carry on, and everything is normal just per usual, as per usual, because I have been on planes before and no one's ever stopped me, no one's ever wanted to know my weight, no one's ever wanted me to buy an extra ticket, that's never happened before with me. And so me and my brother are waiting for the plane to, well, the plane has arrived, but we're waiting to board the plane. And there's not many people, I'm going to be honest. Um, this plane was a little bit smaller and I want to say maybe 10 other people were waiting for the same plane as me and my brother. So we're waiting, we're waiting. And this lady comes up to me. And she said, you know, are you waiting to get on this plane? And I'm like, obviously, girl. <laughs> and she tells me, well, we need to talk to you for a minute. And I thought I did something wrong. I thought maybe my luggage was too heavy and they didn't realize it until now. I thought any, any number of things. Like, was I allowed to have the carry-on that I had, which was like just one purse? I didn't know. And my brother followed me because he was like, what is happening? Like, okay, so I was 18, so at the time my brother was 17. And, um, so we go up to, you guys know how, like, at the airport, I don't know if you guys have ever, like, not everyone's been on planes or in airports, but when you're waiting for your plane, it's like you have this little section, some are bigger, like I said, mine was pretty small, and there's, like, a little desk pretty much in between each section, and she brought me up to that section, um, where the desk was, and there was another lady there, and the lady's like, so it seems that you have reached... Like, I forgot how she worded it. This was years ago. Like, I'm 26 now. This happened when I was 18. She was like, it seems that you've reached, like, a certain limit. I don't know what she was saying. And she was like, you're going to have to buy an extra ticket. And I was like, what? What? What do you mean an extra ticket? I'm going to be honest. I was in foster care at the time. And I didn't buy my ticket. Um, my foster parents didn't buy my ticket. It was actually my social worker uh, paying for me and my brother to do it since we were in foster care. 
Um, usually things like that did get paid through the state. So I was like, I ain't got no money to pay for another freaking seat. Let me tell you that one. And I said, is the full plane, like, is it a full plane? And she literally told me no. And I was like, then why do I have to buy an extra seat? Like, this doesn't make sense. Is it because of my luggage? And, da -da. and she was like, no, because you look like you're going to take up. Like, she said it nicely, but I don't remember how she said it. I wish, I wish I would remember word for word. I totally wish. But she said pretty much, like, I'm going to take up more than one seat. And I was like, I've been on other planes before. They've never had me do this. This isn't fair. And I started freaking out. I started crying and I told her like my whole life story in like one sentence. I was like, I'm going to see my family for the first time. And my brother's like, calm down, like legit calm down. But I could not calm down. Like I was embarrassed and I was ashamed. And I literally thought I was not going to get to see my family. So I ended up calling my foster mom because that was literally my only option. And I was bawling my eyes out and I was like, they're making me buy another, um, See, I don't understand why, da, 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 the plane's not even full. So my foster mom's on the other end, and she was like, let me talk to them. So she ended up talking to them, blah, blah, blah. After a good five minutes, literally the plane was going to take off. And if my foster mom didn't buy the ticket right then and there, then I would have been shit out of luck. Shit out of luck. And it was like $300, non-refundable, because I'm a fat ass. What? Like, I thought that was so weird. Like, if it was a more of a fuller plane, like, I totally get it. But anyways, my foster mom ended up buying the seat. It was so embarrassing. So, I'm model waddling my way through towards the back because I prefer going in the back of the plane. Even though, like, girl, I got some wide hips. <laughs> like, let me tell you. So, like, getting back there is kind of hard. I have to, like, walk sideways. But whatever. Um, so I ended up getting back there and already I have to ask for a seatbelt extender, which is already super embarrassing and I do it very low key and very quiet. And the lady, the flight, flight attendant was so sweet because she knew the situation. I didn't even have to tell her. So the seat next to mine, it was, it was the type of plane where it wasn't three people that sat together. It was just two. So the lady put this sign that said seat out of order seat broken right next to me, which by the way, I barely even sat on like low key, high key, whatever. I'm so annoyed thinking about it, even though it happened when I was 18, like I wasn't even using that seat at all. And, but she knew the situation and, um, the plane I was on was not like, no one had assigned seating. So anyone could sit wherever my brother sat in front of me. But she put that paper down so if, like, someone did come up and say, hey, is the seat taken? Like, I didn't have to be like, actually, it's for me. Like, but she was so sweet about it. And I was so grateful for that because I was super just like, oh, like, I had been crying. My makeup was all smeared. I had swollen eyes. I was so embarrassed. I was ashamed. And I was like, what is life? Um, I, I still thinking about it today. This happens to a lot of people. And I think what frustrates me the most is that, during takeoff, I, I happened to look around and you wouldn't believe how many free seats there were. The plane wasn't even halfway full, not even close. And I had to buy an extra seat. I don't understand. I honestly thoroughly don't understand why. I guess I would understand why if I actually really did take up two seats, but I did not take up two seats. I remember um, I actually snapped a picture once we were in the sky and I had my phone and it was on. It didn't work, but I could still take pictures. I remember I snapped a picture showing how much room I still had left. It was, it was just, it was such a bad and embarrassing situation because I reacted so horribly, but I wasn't expecting that to happen to me. And I am, okay, so I weighed 420 pounds then. And recently I weighed myself and I was 470.4. So since then I have gained weight, but since the new year I have lost weight. So please round of applause for me. I'm very happy about that. Um, I'm not gaining weight. I am losing weight. It's happening very slowly, but I need to get the ball going. Anyways, but since then I have gained weight. So I'm not sure how it would be now, but back then I feel like I was gypped. I was an 18 year old and I was totally gypped for sure. It was just really embarrassing, but I very much appreciate uh, very much appreciate my uh, foster mom for being there for me and able to pay for that. Um, it's just, what? Like, I don't understand. I really don't understand. I just figured you guys would enjoy this video. Story time. It was so embarrassing. Uh, do I fit on a plane now? I don't know. I haven't been on it so long and I don't want to try. 
I legit do not want to try because I remember how hard it was for me then so I can't even imagine now but yeah so story time this is why I don't do story times because I get tongue-tied and my mind thinks faster than my mouth my my see my mind thinks faster than my mouth moves and I just want to be like and I get very like in my stories I, I just get confused and it's just a mess but yeah that happened it was embarrassing but I'm just very grateful for the flight attendant. You know what I'm saying? Because she got my back putting that sign up so I didn't have to tell people, yo, I'm too fat, so these seats are mine. <laughs> but anyways, story time over. Love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!